a show in Chicago, and they were lined up three deep watching Iron Chef Jeffrey Zakarian mandolin slice while he looked all around the room. Wasn't paying attention to what he was doing because he didn't have to worry about being cut because the blades are all contained inside this revolutionary design. I'm going to tell you that already since our preview, over 300 of these have been ordered. We've got them in great colors. Now, let me hit the colors real quickly, and then we're going to introduce the chef, and we're going to get busy with all of the fantastic demonstrations. Now, I have this for you in the eggplant. Here it is for you in the cool gray, fewer than a thousand here. I've got it for you in black, fewer than a thousand in the black. Then jump up here to our sage, and then finally I have it for you in Zakarian blue. <laughs> we also have a red choice here, and we have a cranberry choice. Is our cranberry choice out here? Is it? Oh, no, that's, I'm sorry, not red and cranberry, just cranberry. There we are. So, $29.98. Put this on three pay today, but if you have a cue card, you can put it on six pay. Let's come over and meet Iron Chef Jeffrey Zakarian and welcome David, him back to QVC. Very nice to be here. Good to see you, my friend. This is so exciting because, you know, I just want to tell people that they're always afraid of mandolins. I am too. It's actually one of the top emergency room problems. When you're in your kitchen, so when you go to the emergency room, this is almost number one. Well, this and bagel slicing, right? This and bagel slicing. <laughs> okay, so what's great about this is the blade is here. So I just want to show you. Why don't you come over here and do? Yeah, this? but why don't you do my demo for? Here me? we go. Look come at on, this. Do this demo. Look this is that. a beautiful yellow squash. Seven kinds of settings, thirty different settings. Two slice thick, two slice thin, two julienne, two dice. Okay, look at that. You. Where's the blade? It's nowhere near your it's hand. It's nowhere right? near my hand. Isn't hands. that beautiful? I can't. In fact, I'm sending squash into the floor. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, but you, you know what? That's what's great about this. And now, Chef, let's slow this down and show everyone exactly how it works. Sure. And then we'll dazzle them with more demos because yeah. this is really, really so phenomenal. So all it is is the the blade is hidden in here. Okay. okay. Here's a little animation. Yeah. And if you see that animation, you can tell that your hand is nowhere near the blade. That's always been the problem. The problem has been you have to touch it and get it just to the edge of it and then you're like, when do I stop? When do I stop? And then you end up wasting a lot of food. So it works with anything. Let's go to garlic. You know when you have garlic, right? And you want to peel the garlic, you want to cut it real thin like that movie. Uh, you know the movie I'm talking about, Goodfellas? <laughs> so let's just show Let's just show a little. Uh, look at this. Can you see that? We're going to come in tight here, Chef, and just show everyone how this is beautifully slicing that garlic. And the best part is, your hands never come close never come to the close. blade, and they don't smell either. You don't. No, get they the, don't. You don't get the, the garlic. Smells great. The garlic isn't that amazing. It smells marvelous. And you really want it. Show this everybody thin. how thin right. this is. You really want it this thin. The reason being is this is how you get the sauce and the garlic to melt together. That's how thin you, you want take it. it that thin into your hot red sauce, yes. it'll just melt like 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 nobody's business. So you see how this would take you probably 10 minutes just to peel this garlic. Well, and my producer was just saying it took him um, what you said a half an hour the other day. Look at that to try to slice garlic the other day. It's food perfume. Perfect. And what else is good about this? As a chef, you never want to chop garlic a lot. That's why Polly used a little razor blade. Yeah. Because when you chop it a lot, you lose all the oil, and all the oil is where the flavor. Where the flavor is. The garlic. Can okay. I tell everyone real quickly? We've now yes. taken orders for. Over 1,500 of these are gone. This is the cranberry color. Now remember, you don't get multiple blades in here because they're all inside. Right. Chef, there's a little um, a little adjustable dial here in the back. That is sliced. This is diced. Exactly. So you're going to control everything inside the machine simply by turning the dial or adjusting yep. this. What you're also going to love is that it comes along with the, with the, a little bowl to capture everything you're slicing. Here's also your feeder tube, your food pusher, and the little brush for cleaning. This is cranberry. I also have it for you in black. 800 left in the black. This is cool gray. 700 left here. Here's eggplant. 700 left. Zakarian blue is up top. And then I have it for you in the sage. You'll also get four of Chef's recipes included here as well, along with your uh, use and care guide. So all that's going to be right here. So Chef, you remember this vegetable that you like? What did you used to call these, David? Um, you told sour me. cabbage balls. Sour <laughs> cabbage balls or yep. Brussels sprouts. So if you put them in here, you just throw them right in here, and you will get almost four times the capacity when you go and buy them pre-sliced. Mm. It's such a waste. Look at this. Look how easy this is. Again, my hands nowhere near the blade. It's not possible that I cut myself. And this action right here is the, the reason why. And look at this. You keep going here. You'll fill that up with all that sliced <clears throat> look at Brussels that. sprout. Can you see that? And then, here, let's turn that on. Wow. Isn't that crazy? So if you're doing a Brussels sprout slaw, if you're doing your, your uh, slicing your carrot, 
whatever you may be doing, we've got it all coming for you. Now, what about garnishes for salads or for drinks? Well, how about this? How about our cucumbers? Our cucumbers just come flying out here. We just put them on the plate. You want to have a drink party? You got some beautiful cucumbers <laughs> for your cucumber margaritas. Cucumber or your cucumber lemon water, your spa water. Exactly. Right? And lemons and limes. You know, it's really hard to sometimes cut lemons and limes, but not like this. Okay. Check this out. Just put this in here. Oh make my beautiful word. wedges for your drinks. That's fantastic. Huh? Let's show so everybody that. See that Did wedge? You turn those out? And that's how you make a wedge for drinking instead of those silly lime. Uh, circles, which yep. are really hard to get any lime out of it. 3,500 of these are now gone. We are very, very busy. If you love the three easy payments on any card, imagine doing six easy pays on your Q card. That's thanks to our birthday celebration. So absolutely consider so that. So I have all my fingers. I have all my which fingers, is good news. which is good. I haven't touched any product yet, which is now, even before better. Before you start this, let's yeah. show how you've loaded this. So I've just loaded, loaded this, this uh, 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 vertically. Vertically, yes. and I'm going to dice. So if I just want to dice a mirepoix, because you know what a mirepoix is, it's the basic for cooking, for making a bolognese. Yeah, or a, a mirepoix sauce. is celery, onions, and carrots. Right. See? Look at that. You can't do that this fast. It's impossible. And then you take your celery, and since you, it's going in the same, it's going in the same place, you just slice. Now, there are little suction cup feet on this as well. So, you're going that. to like that because that's going to keep your uh, unit from dancing around the tabletop. Can I tell you now that the cool gray that you're working with here now is last call? Last we've call. We've now taken a grand total of orders. Over 4,000 are gone now. Chef, we've talked about things like carrots and celery. Right. What are you doing here? Is I'm that just, the onion? These oh, are the that's... onions. Here's your onions. So, you, you have go. your mirepoix made, done. Beautiful. In 30 seconds. And you don't have to pre cut, re cut, slice with a knife. It's all done. Can we talk about potatoes? Potatoes. Because potatoes are probably one of the uh, most commonly cut vegetables in a mandolin. Uh, I mean, I was doing it in the preview before, and if you could see, I could actually have a conversation with you. Yeah, you're already talking to your wife. I, think. I can talk to my wife on my phone. Hi, honey. How are you? <laughs> and my kids are watching, and look at that. So, um, and can I just see this right here? Can you take a look at that? Can you see that? No waste. No waste. No waste. Now, let's turn those out. I want to show you these slices. Look how uniform. Look how beautiful now if you're doing scalloped potatoes, potatoes gratin, which Chef is making a little later in the show. And the key to making scalloped potatoes and really good potatoes when you thin them is they all have to be the same thickness. If they are not, they cook unevenly. Exactly. Okay. So one side is nice and tender and the other side is crunchy. And we have even, it can even handle delicate things like fruit. So here we have beautiful strawberries. Okay. All right, here we go with strawberries. And remember, less is more. You're going to get used to the rhythm with this. So you don't want to push it really hard. Yeah. You don't need to. The blades are super sharp. Particularly with something like strawberries. Beautiful. This is something that you need a super sharp blade for. Otherwise, you would mangle those, uh, those softer. And the beauty of the strawberry is, is if you cut it too much or too thick, it's going to get all the juice is going to get watery. So say we want to make a strawberry rhubarb pie. We have yes. some rhubarb here. Yes. We're just going to take the rhubarb just like this. We peeled it. And we're just going to put it in here. Okay. And voila. Now you've got sliced or diced, rather, rhubarb that can go into your strawberry mixture now. You yeah. mix that with some sugar. Hey, we've sold out of uh, the cool gray now, chef. So I'll take that away. Now, take a look right here before I hand this one off. We've sold out of cool gray, but here's black. Now, last call on the black. This is eggplant. 400 left. Zacharian blue. Very popular. 600 left. And sage green. A thousand left, and here's your cranberry. That's my favorite color. And we have about a thousand left in the cranberry. Six thousand of these are now gone, Jeff. Yes. Let me have, pass off the gray because it's gone. Thank you, Brianna. Okay, so we're trying to get the whole world here. We've pretty much started with zucchini. We've gone the line with carrots to dice. We've gone the line with shredding with Brussels sprouts, lemons. Now we've moved over to making a mirepoix. We can make all our sauces, our potatoes, fruit. Now we're going to move into say some more vegetables and mushrooms. Mushrooms are tricky, right? Because if you cut them too thick or too thin, they cook different temperatures. Now we're going to ask you to do this so before we get started. I just want to show you what's happening here. Yeah. Mushrooms are loaded here. This is your catch basin. Yep. And then the cut mushrooms are going to come out of here. Now, what's the challenge with cutting mushrooms? They're a very, very delicate. Delicate. Item. They're delicate, and what happens? You cut them too small, too thick, and you have a distribution of uneven cooking. So right here again, can you see this is the dial for thin or thick, and these are the two uh, dices. So I'm just going to load it in the loader. Okay. And here we go. Watch. Beautiful Everything slices. Now, same. We're going we're gonna to pour these out so you can really, really see them. And they're beautiful. What we're not getting is uh, mushroom confetti here. You're no getting actual confetti. slices. Okay. See how beautiful that is? Now, there's no waste. Notice there's nothing going in here. You guys, look at this. Look right there. 
Look at that, that beautifully sliced mushroom. Is that not perfect? That's what you want. And I'm telling you, even if you've got Chef Zakarian's knife skills, that's still going to be a challenge, right? <laughs> so say you're going to go out to the barbecue, you want to have some pickles, right? And so we can just slice some pickles. Just well, if like you're making pickles. Chicago dogs, you got to have Chicago pillows. dog. You pickles. have everything here for Chicago dog. Well, I think we do. I, the only thing we might be missing is tomato. Um, hey, we yeah. just sold out of the black, Chef. Great. All right, so black now is gone, yes? Mm. Zakarian blue. Last call on the Zagarian blue. I'm going to move that down here so you can see it a little better. I'll move the green down here so you can see it a little better because we only have four remaining. So let's start here. Eggplant, 300 left. Zagarian blue, last call, about 100 left. Sage green, 800 left. And the cranberry up top, 400 left. Okay, here we go. Thank you so much. All right, so all this coming together for you. Now, Chef, this is something that we've been waiting on for quite some time because everyone either uses a mandolin and takes quite literally their life into their hands. It is quite literally. It is the cut you go to the emergency room for the most if you're going to cook. Well, so that what this is doing is it's eliminating that danger element. Danger. But what we're still getting are the beautiful slices that we're after because there was a reason we went to that mandolin in the first place. Absolutely, right? and you can do 30 variations with this. 30. I want to in the last 40 seconds, guys, if we can just show the finished foods. Just to give you a kind of a review of what we've done, if you're just tuning in, this is Chef Zakarian's Safe Slice Mandolin, and it's awesome. We did beautiful squash and zucchini, whisper razor thin slices of garlic, julienne carrots, and those evil Brussels sprouts. All right, come with me down here. Also, um, cucumber and citrus. There's some lime. Chef did a beautiful mirepoix. So, right here, beautiful uh, carrots, celery, and onions. Here are your sliced potatoes for potatoes, uh, scalloped potatoes. Right. There's your rhubarb and strawberry for your cobbler. And finally, we've got mushrooms and pickle slices. Now, let me review with you what we have remaining in the uh, eggplant. 100 in the eggplant. Zakarian blue is gone. 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 Sage green, 600 left, and the cranberry. Just sold out. Okay. Fantastic. So, how many total are gone now? Okay, 9,000 units are gone. I have only eggplant and sage green remaining. Chef Zakarian, you're coming back because we've I got am. your brand new scallops coming up. Ah, never frozen. Never frozen. From the boat to your home. When were they caught? 24 hours ago. So, and they're shipping immediately. Yes. All right, we're going to see you back with that. Thank We've you. also got the great baker coming up, the cast iron baker. Yes, we do. With the uh, nonstick coating. Can we show you some new recipes and those scallop potatoes. It's great man. to have you back, my friend. Nice to be back. Good to see you.